Awkward to have Breach and Helm in the same pack. I think Helm's actually like potentially better than Breach. It's really sweet. Plays well with the Storm decks that I enjoy drafting. Pattern for Birth is an exciting card. I don't think it's a great pack one pick one. I think that's like Rabble Master or Ponder, huh? What up? Hey, Zally, one thinks that's 66 months. Yeah, cheers. What a juicy pack. Brit Skush with a $20 donation saying, No stip whatsoever. You heard it, folks. We're stipless. Like a boat without a rudder. Yeah, top, Retrofitter, Dark Ritual, Crater Hoof. There's, I mean, there's so many good cards in this pack. We used to have Retrofitter cut, and should we re and should we, and should we scoop it up? It's a little early and a little aggressive for Retrofitter. Top's been really impressive for me. Could take top, ponder, and do like a mentor thing. I think that's Late Fury. Strip Mind's an option. I was thinking about Mentor though when I did this. We don't have to be Mentor, but I was thinking about it. Could take Reservoir. These cards play both play well with Reservoir. Try that out again. Night is going well. Thank you, Hearn. God, there's LED. I should be storming. Is it too late? Have I passed too much goodness? Let me get this pack. <laughs> I knew it. As soon as, as soon as you dip your toe into storm, it dries up. Bam, gone. <laughs> yep. Look at all this fair trash. These are your options. <laughs> God damn it. Nice LED nerd. Hey, Cheeseburger thinks the seven months thinks we're sure in the prime. T Cruise? It's like that or Elspeth, huh? Hey, Warren thinks the $10 donation. Appreciate you. Random ass Signet. Pest Infestation is probably the best card here. Greens felt really open. We need to just take Pest anyway. Move in. It's not too late. I am well. Thank you, Cheeseburger. That's alright. We didn't invest that much. Oh, man. These other cards are, like, not that exciting in comparison to Academy. So even though I only have, like, one artifact. Am I going to Hell in the Harbor this weekend? I'm going to the Milwaukee Metal Fest this weekend. I don't think it's called Hell in the Harbor. Yeah, this is this is called Metal Fest. Oh yeah, Tackler. Third Path Iconoclast, that would be nice. Breach. Breach would tend to be back in, because we do have the LED. LED and Breach are already like basically a combo, right? You don't need much from there. Hell yeah, Wolf Games. Yeah, highly recommend. 
So the breach is gone. The helm did wheel. So maybe there's just like one other storm player. I'm gonna take helm anyway. Hell yeah, Terofi. Yeah, I haven't seen Pop Butt on at a mental notch. Heard awesome show. I make it look easy. Didn't I tell you that I had like my longest losing streak <laughs> of my entire my entire streaming career for the last couple days? We broke it, but it certainly does not feel like I've been making it look easy. Yeah, apparently Knotfest is is sponsoring this metal festival, the one that I'm going to this weekend. One of the stages is called the Knotfest stage. Ooh, the retrofitter wield. This academy just got a whole lot juicier. All right, now I'm excited. And I'm gonna keep this stuff over here because something could still happen with that, right? Ooh, I like Tyler's tracker. Lotus Bloom's like a consideration, but I think Tracker and Academy is a little bit more direct. And we have this fucking Pest Infestation. Is not fest what it sounds like? Um, it's a festival built around Slipknot. Um, so if that's what it sounds like to you, then yes. If you're expecting a festival where you learn how to tie knots and watch expert knot tires, and take not tying courses, then you'd be very disappointed. A whole festival for garlic knots. Ooh. I was impressed with Slipknot's live show the one time I saw them. about Temple Garden. Really fucking hyped. Yes! That's what I wanted. Is Boombringer Valkyrie good for the cube? Yeah, I think it's sweet. Beanslayer got cut. And Boombringer's like a, a modern version. Replacing it. I'm into it. So we got a very on-color signet. And there's Foff here. Probably wheel one of these artifacts, huh? You take the Factor Fiction. Factor Fiction plays well with the T Cruise. It is a nice signet, though. Oh, this makes signet's even better. We're, we're more green than we are blue. Yeah, or more, more green than we are white. All right, I'm going to do that. Think about Narset. Mystical Tutor could be good if we get Tinker. We don't currently have Tinker. I'm just going to grab Narset. I think it's good here. We have a, I'm gonna pause this. I'm gonna pause this Orchid track. Play Warren Fish's song request with a $10 donation. <laughs> I'm just this fucking opening, opening image. <laughs> amazing, it's already gonna be amazing. Karn could be a win con, plays well with the Academy. There's a breeding peel there. Literal cat jam, yeah. Ooh, do we want channel? I think we want the channel. These cats are fucking distracting me. 
Is this the greatest music video ever made? Whoever shot and edited this must have had, like, the best fucking time. Just the actual best time. Alright, how do I make my job about what I love? How do y'all feel about Channel Mind Slavery? Does that excite people? Should I just take Skydiver? Wayfinder can help find Academy. Wayfinder also powers up T-Cruise. Yeah, that's, that's that's a good point. Maybe it'll wheel for me. I took Skydiver, but only because Skydiver's kind of fucked up. Who's that Tinker I was talking about? I think you want the Yoko, huh? We don't have the fatty to Tinker into quite yet. Yoko's good. Yoko's a good card. I believe in the Yoko. Ooh, confluence action here. It's a sick fucking card, that Mystic Confluence. Insane pack, really insane pack, yeah. Shark Typhoon's not a bad mana sink. I think I'm into it. Portal's not terrible, but we're not really a workshop style deck, right? You want your artifacts to be cheap. To juice up the academy, and Portal's a little expensive. Oh no, it was the cat getting chased by the dog. I think there was a car accident. No, there's flames. The music video is getting intense. <laughs> I think the cat, the cat driver fucked up the the dog driver, and then you just like seen the cat drive away all badass, is what that was. Hey, DC Sports thinks the 74 months, almost a quarter of a century. Yeah, I'm I'm not gonna do the math on that, but I believe you. Crop rotation finds Academy. We should draft Worm Coil though, right? It'd be weird not to draft Worm Coil. It's like not the worst thing to channel into. It's not great, but it's like a thing. Really want that crop rotation. Oh, Foff Wield. All the artifact mana dried up, but Foff Wield. What is with Solitude just going super late? It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> People just don't get in, I guess. I don't know. I see a Solitude and I'm like, that's a reason to go into, oh hey, the card wheeled. Maybe White's is super open, because like these are also reasonable like pack one pick ones, you know? It means you're not in the draft yet, right? Probably not playing the Reclaimer in the Wayfinder, but maybe. Everyone pivoted into Storm, that must be it. Yeah. Yeah. That Mox Sapphire is gonna give me a lot more sweet openers. So something cool to channel into is just about all we're missing, huh? Grab this waterlogged grove. Make our man a little bit better and increase the chance that we can cast channel onto. Capture your triumph works too. Do we steal blight steel from the Tinker Drafter? Just like sorry, Tinker Drafter. I need to channel into this. 
It's not a crazy one for us to cast either. You like without the channel. Otherwise, you're taking Noble Hierarch here. Noble Hierarch's really good. Try to think about this. We could just cut the channel too. All right, you're welcome, Tinker Drafter. Not Palancron? No. <laughs> we try to we try to draft good cards on the stream. We don't always succeed, but we at least try. We do our best. Get playables in our deck. Last time Blighty wheeled. Yeah, but the Tinker didn't wheel. Whoever drafted the Tinker is drafting the Blight still. Have I ever drafted Palancron? I have. Have I ever been happy I drafted Palancron? No. <laughs> we'll have no more Palancron related questions at this time. <laughs> There is not a 17 lands for Vintage Cube. But you can just ask me which cards are better, I can just tell you. <laughs> I, can, I can be that resource. Kind of a sweet Trinket Mage deck. I'm looking at Thrain Dynamo, I'm looking at Trop. And then Birds of Paradise isn't crazy. I'm gonna take the Trop, let's go for consistency. There's that workshop I mentioned earlier. Not really, not really for us, is it? There's the balance we we're kind of considering. It's still like not a crazy splash that balance. I think I like the Uro. I think I like the Uro, and then maybe play the Wayfinder. It's like kind of a thing, huh? Because now we have Factor Fiction and Wayfinder filling up the bin. Could be okay. Am I wrong? Is that not okay? Can we do anything with fast bond? No upheaval, no draw sevens. We'd love some draw sevens for Narset too. Oh man, I'm gonna see Ruby the Agit next week. There's Memory Jar. Memory Jar and Narset's not really a combo though. Metamorph? Yeah, I like it. Augur and Fast Bond's a combo. Eh, eh. I don't really like these other cards. The Triumph coming into play tapped is awkward. I don't think I'm going to play it if I took it. Do you want birds or Tringa Mage? I think we actually want the birds. Just make the trade 2 code nice and consistent. This is enough playables. I actually have one more cut. After you trim the channel stuff. Maybe Golos is the cut. It finds Academy, but it's a little slow about it. How happy am I now? I'm pretty happy. Yes, the Boros Signet is good enough. That's what's in my deck. I can see boarding in that balance. We got like two duels for it too. It's not like the greatest balance deck ever, but it's, it's, it's a solid one.
Mox Sapphire is producing blue too. Wanna be evensies? I'm trying to get me to wait blue. Yeah, Sap between Sapphire and Academy, I think it should actually be like this. We just have like these turn one dorks, you know. Obviously we're heavier blue than than green, but I think this is good. Deck looks good. Hey, Fizzard Drake thinks the 41 months. No obvious win cons. Are you kidding me? These are our obvious win cons. These are our less obvious ones. Anyway. Shark Typhoon gonna fuck people up. All right, I'm gonna go to the bathroom real quick. And I will leave you folks to watch the sexiest ads that have ever been recorded for Twitch TV. And if they are not the sexiest ads you've ever seen, I'll be indignant on your behalf. All right, I'll be right back, folks. See you all soon. Hello, hello, hello. This deck looks sweet. Did I update Stream Decker? I did. Oh, I'm so ahead of the game. Anyway, I hope you all had a good break. I hope you all enjoyed the sexiest ads ever recorded for Twitch.tv. The chance that I hold it in all day. Well, when I wake up, I typically go start, I start streaming immediately. So, <laughs> not really much holding. Deck could use a force will, huh? I think a force will would help this deck win more than like another mox or something. Show it up. Hey, Metamedes, since the 39 months. This deck can draw cards. Yeah, you're not wrong. We don't have removal, but we do have like Uro, Worm Coil stuff versus Aggro. Oko. I guess Oko is removal. It's disruption. The questionable Talarian Academy. I well, think your Academy's good. Remember, uh, it's not just the artifact count, it's also the things that make artifacts. And we've got Tireless Tracker and Oko, and they play really well with it. Hey, cheers, Cheeseburger. That is a heck of a link you sent me. Thanks for the five bucks. I'll be happy to play your song request in a sec here. Was Krasis the last cut? I don't know, it was one of them. Does Krasis get you excited? Hmm. 
It was not hard to cut Krasis. I'm gonna ignore your pun for the good of our relationship. See the Wayfinder already doing work holding up that Usher, huh? Someone said, someone said, uh, um, last TwitchCon, the commentators were making fun of me for drafting a Mole Drifter, and they were calling it, like, Divination, and then I drafted, like, a literal Divination immediately afterwards. Kind of funny. More Divinations, stack them up. You wanna pay for life? your Vortex in play? Is that what you want to do? It is what they want to do. I'm going to pop the Vortex anyway. You're safe. What a power, What kind of power move would it be to, like, pass Devastation and not blow up the Vortex? Like, just make 2 one ones here? Gabby does not stream. Too many irons in the fire. All right, here's the cheeseburger request. Did I fail you? Oh, that's fucked up. Hey, Bim, it's the 420. Tomorrow. Tomorrow you I have listened to Wild Run before, yeah. I do enjoy them. I have some of their merch. The Mad with Power Festival that happens here in Madison. They're going to be playing. I'm tempted. They're like the only band that tempts me. They're like the draw for me, really. Do we Tracker? Do we Cycle a Shark? I think we Cycle Shark here. Exactly, Matt, man. Four three tracker seems to decent against two ones. Yeah, but it wouldn't start as a four three. It'd just be a three two here, with only one man up. I can't play it in crack it. That's the main reason that I think the shark is better. Make them pay for again. How low will they go? Curse it all along, not tomorrow. 
This is Palace Jailering. Hellrider. That's scary for a very different way. A top notch elk. Yeah. The some of these like animations making me a little queasy. I think it's giving me the spins. A DB four two three zero. I think it's the four dollars and twenty cents. I have successfully turned your 3-3 into a 3-3. Give me now clap. Next song request. This is from Bimp, who, who says, The last rehearsal before first parade. Please wish me good tuba. Oh, I'm wishing you the best tuba, Bimp. Good luck. This is by the Rebirth Brass Band. The track's called Tuba Duba. Already a bop. They're just off it. Fair enough. Makes me think my opponent did not have a very good time. They're over there like, fuck Oko, fuck Worm Coil. They didn't even get to see the Uro. They didn't even get to see, see Uro do its sweet thing. Yeah, nothing wrong with, uh, with conceding for quality of life, huh? I can't say shit. I literally, like, rage quit last stream, right? <laughs> Not just the draft. <laughs> Not just the draft. The whole stream. I think this five is better than the previous two hands, to be fair. All of chat said fair. Yeah, nobody was giving me shit for it. <laughs> I like bitched out early and everyone's like, yep, no, that makes sense. That is a reasonable, <laughs> a reasonable reaction to these games. Just the kindest I've ever seen a Twitch chat be. Johnson it certainly helps 
It certainly helps the next stream be up to snuff. Dying to your own turn three shielded. God, we died to our own shielded like three times that league. I think we gotta cash in this Narset, huh? I think the Narset's going down anyway. Ooh. Oh my. How y'all feel about just holding up Mystic Confluence? Like, they know I have it, but I think it's fine. We can, like, bounce Spellbinder at the end of turn. If you're not wrong, can I win? You're not wrong. Huge credit to the community and the mods. Catbeards into the five bucks. No, Mayoko. Did we just run out skydiving? Have, like an equipment or something. Well, now I wish I'd put the skydiver. It's okay, we can run it out and uh, bring back our hero here. DB4230 with the $4.20 for Twitch Blaze at Hype. Requesting some uh, King Gizzard and Lizard Wizard Iron Lung. Settle in, folks. You think the Pierce is going to be cash? I do not think so. A lot of the cards I'm worried about right now are uh, creatures. Solitude and whatnot. Oh, they're scrying. Is this guy ever going to get to hit them? That happening. <laughs> the euro will die, but like, so what? <laughs> Skydiver is gonna ruin their day. Yeah, I hope so. That's what I was worried about. Dicks. And now we play Moldrifter, and then they um, play their flyer to block it. 
Well, they pitched, they pitched the flyer. Well, maybe second flyer is good. If they answer the Mole Drifter, we have a backup way of hitting them now. And that's quite nice. Are they playing Legacy Death and Taxes? With a Grixis Mana Base and Celestial Colonnade? Or Asper, Asper rather. Mm, Subgrist. They have played pretty much just like mono legacy playables. Just from a bunch of different decks is all. Oh, this noble hierarch's gonna be so good. It's gonna be the best noble fucking hierarch ever. Interesting that they left the grist open on board. Maybe they got a thing for me. Oh, they get to untap, right, right, right. Not interesting. That other word. Good, good. Colonnade can hit me back. A lot of the damage is done. I think about a large pest infestation versus worm coil. Like which is better here? Let's ponder first, because you can ponder into either. Maybe I should have given him both clunkers, like give him the Elspeth and the Scarab God versus damn Black Lotus Misty. Maybe that's better. Alright, sweet. We answered the Scarab God. It's not easy for my deck to do.
We know they have, we know they have Dam and six man Elspeth in their hand. Two of the five cards. Me and the opponent both have twelve cards in our library. down ticking. All right, we got more summer quests. I do like that iron lung track. Here's one from Catbeards. A $5 donation. Requesting Hellbound Train by Savoy Brown. S-A-V-O-Y Brown. Kind of a sweet fucking cover. Look at this. I really like the little different lighting going on there. Really cool. Yeah, we initiated up the bird to make sure we could kill the Grist. Which is maybe wrong. Maybe Grist up ticking was <laughs> the way to go. Maybe they end up decking first then. No dark mode anywhere, Notorious Chief. What? This is the weirdest thing I've ever seen! Ah! initiative kill them um not really we trophied with a green white lands matter step you just got here and I'm freaking out that's why I'm freaking out JKWA I was like ah JK's here ah! yeah I think we just got to kill Elspeth huh
That's a fucking concern, huh? Um, now they're getting into untap with Elspeth. And now they have um, a sweeper in hand. So our best way of pressuring the Elspeth, this was past infestation. But then they just sweep and uptick make tokens. How do we beat that shit, huh? Um, I don't think Karn down tick is quite good enough here. Tagging Waterlogged Grove. It is quite a game, yeah, you're not wrong. I think it's hybrid. I am well, thank you. Need to see what's left of their deck. They have a Lingering Souls. And a Dismember. And the rest looks pretty relevant. I'm not sure I would have grabbed the Blade Splicer if I was them. Are they just gonna Wrath? You can feel the find, right? I think anytime you're grabbing a creature or grabbing a specific card type, I don't think it's mandatory, but maybe I'm wrong. It doesn't say you may, only from a hidden zone. Gotcha, gotcha. It's, since it's, so since it's revealed, it's not a may. Interesting. turns to kill me. Yeah, but if it was hidden Levathian. If it was hidden it'd be different. hope not getting a land off path matters. Um, yeah. I mean, I ended up cracking the waterlogged grove anyway, but... Kind of don't feel like they have lethal, huh? Weird little game. A lot of nice back and forth. might end up winning just because we took our foot off the gas a turn before they did. Left them within the game. The Howling Mine left them with a the hot potato. So 
So their planeswalkers are kind of an issue. I'm thinking about splashing Geddon. I think that could just get him. I have a lot of random white sources too. Can I get enough white sources for Elspeth? Elspeth's pretty good at chewing through walkers, huh? Game where you're citing Krasis. Yeah, it, it might be actually. Yeah, Krasis can make sense. Another flyer. Flyers are good. I guess they showed, they showed Mox Diamond for Skydiver. Is that enough? I think it's enough. Do we have answers to this Scarab God? Not really. Oko. Track was kind of jammy. Good stuff. What about cutting metamorph? I don't think they showed me the best metamorph targets. And then, yeah, I was considering these two. The double white on Elspeth is kind of hard. I'd have to adjust the mana base a lot. Let's work a little basic planes in there. Is Krasis better than Treasure Cruise in this matchup? I just swap out a draw spell for another one. I kind of like that. We're using our graveyard a lot for the Uro. Last game came down to decking. We just <laughs> opened an opener that like mills 10 cards, mills a full third of our library. <laughs> Initiative Monarch. I mean, Krasis is a really good one to hit with the Palace Jailer, too. Kind of a double-edged jellyfish there. I really like the first half of this album. Got some nice epic vibes about it. Unfortunate. Yeah, turn two white plume is good. I I was more afraid of uh, the the two white white two two. Yeah, Palace Jailer. This is a little stronger against us specifically.
opponent not interested in buffing the White Plume. Probably correct. Yeah, that fucking thing. And then we play Palace or the Birds to, to be a flyer. Do you play the Worm Coil Engine to try and come up the board here? Yeah, I guess Metamorph would, be, would have been good on this board, huh? Maybe better than Narset. Narset can be good against the Monarch, though, if you can gum the board up. So they can't clear it. the life total at least. <laughs> I think they know I'm splashing Geddon now. down. Slaughter with Spriftwing kind of ruins me, doesn't it? And then they have all their blockers up because they blink the Palace Jailer and the White Plume can untamp something. Elspeth would be good here. Should grow the shit out of that Soul Herder. matter hum their fox did have better cards look we don't need to compare fox one to one hey pi one eight one one eight thanks the donation thanks the five bucks
can't. Oh, it's got hex proof because they hit it off of the. <laughs> okay, all right, you win. <laughs> okay. All right, Metamorph comes back in. And then I think harder about this fucking Elspeth. Let's cut Narset. What up? Hey, JK Loader, thanks for solving the 48 months. No, I don't, I don't think I'm interested in balance. Would have been good that game. Would have been terrible in the first game, right? And the first game was the one that we won. I'd like to build towards that if I can. Yeah, JK Loader, and then Hill 4511, thanks for the resub, thanks for five months. Hell yeah. Kinda hate it, kinda hate that swap. Them knowing about the getting doesn't matter. What are they gonna do? Not play lands. Well, that's a zesty open aim. As long as they don't turn one WPA me or Palace Jailer me, this hand is a good shot. Hell yeah, Dracar Bob. Congratulations. Yeah, bird down. It is me, Skydiver's time to shine. Feels weird, but I'm gonna get him.
right? Our beautiful Academy. That was what felt weird about it. Seems good though, right? Like, what we're trying to do with getting here. Alright, that was enough of that. Pi says, I've been obsessed with this song and album since it came out. An obsessor. This is Sacred Outcry, Outcry The Flame Rekindled. Does Black Lotus do things? I mean, Black Lotus does things, but we're far enough ahead that it only like, lets them operate one turn while we're on like, full operating. There's always tomorrow, Tackler. Planet Zoo will be there tomorrow. But I will also be there tomorrow and you should watch me instead. I win! It was an interesting match, huh? I think my biggest mistake was boarding out Metamorph. but I still like the boarding in Geddon plan. Bruce is like a slightly slower deck with a bunch of Planeswalkers. I think that's just like where you want to be. That was a sexy game, you're not wrong. I'm turned on. Obligatory Rory, thanks for the sob, thanks for the 24 months, the two years. I think could use a Mox, hum. Yeah, speaking of sexy, huh? I will counter your copter. I've got a mana drain up. Don't uh, don't play anything too good. Too good. And do I mana drain mana? Damn. You know what's kind of bullshit? You can't metamorph Grist. This certainly looks good against this Oko that's in my hand too, huh? I run it out, and down tick and clear. I'm just supposed to Narset here. Go looking for a Mox or something. Yeah, Gris might solo me, huh? <clears throat> Is this a ninja? Some hot ninja action? I got my bird. Rude. Mr. Confluence could get my bird back. I 
I was hoping to use this Shark Typhoon to pressure the Grist, but now I think it just has to chump the uh, Shinobi here. Yes, the reason they're down ticking on Narset is not because they're worried about the Narset down tick finding me a card, or. And it's not necessarily because they have a lot of draw spells in hand. The reason they're down ticking on Narset there is because they're worried about me playing a draw seven and then losing their entire hand. It'd be hard to come back from. Yeah, almost like Uro. We just have to sh we just have to make a shark though. We just have to make a shark and chomp. And the next turn we can confluence bounce some things. Maybe I don't know. Hmm. Not a bad auto play. Metamorph on Shinobi. They've got an onboard answer, so they like kill mine and hit me. If you play the Metamorph and play another thing, then it gets better. But we couldn't, so. But you see how Grist can down tick to kill a thing? can indeed play lands with Shinobi. When you can't, it's because it says cast. If it says cast a card, then you won't be able to play lands with it. Hmm, questing Beast in there. Not gonna be great for me. Did they have another creature? We don't know. We don't know what their fucking hand is. Or you wanna bet your whole game plan around the odds of them not having a creature? I didn't like the line, folks. I didn't think it was good, so I didn't play it. You're obviously welcome to disagree, but I don't really have anything to add to the conversation. Hoofda. Yeah, I think we just have to hug Boko, which is not pleasant. Probably what I should have done last turn. We do have some good cards in here. Currently getting rocked by this Grist real hard. Also a good one, huh? One juicy thing is coming down next. Oh, yeah, that's strong. Well, I mean, that's actually not that bad. You get the Euro bag. Seemed like a fine spot to scoop it, though. Yeah, we are weak to walkers. I mean, it's a reason to bring in Elspeth here. Leave it as is on the play. Well, I 
Should I play both? I'm like they can both jump things. Let's play like as many flyers as possible. Mana gets a bit worse, for sure. I think Treasure Cruise is better than Foff in my deck. Especially with them trying to mind twist me. Maybe this isn't a flyer, so we cut Skydiver. I don't think we saw a good target for it. Yeah, Worm Coil's bad here. No, I cut it even both times, RBD. The uh, the duels are one of each. And then I already have the mana base balance, so. Is Cruise better than Narset? Yeah, by quite a lot. Narset's pretty bad here. They have a lot of nice ways of pressuring it, so it doesn't matter that much. And like, our hits aren't that good. We don't have like a critical mass of spells, really. No draw sevens or whatever. Narset's good when your opponent's playing like a combo deck with a bunch of draw sevens, but that's like really not what my opponent's doing, right? Instead, they're playing a bunch of like value planeswalkers that answer Narset cleanly. Vraska down tech, what have you. Meanwhile, again, if the opponent fucking nukes your hand, Treasure Cruise is one of the better cards you can top deck. Anyway, that's my reasoning. Hate it. I think you keep it, but I do hate it. We have better fives, but I think this is like better than the average five. Gross. Also gross. Hey, Muldrifter was better than Krasis. Regret cutting back to fiction here. That card would be fantastic. Assuming we hit the fourth mana, of course. Ur will save us. This is on board Death Rite. <laughs> Ur will gain us three life. And draw a card. And then be exiled. Crisis was optimistic. Yeah, I was thinking that I would Uro first. And ramp up to the Crisis. Tracker, no land drop, your turn. Not loving my spot here. How many trophies today? Just the one. I think we're gonna lose this. Uh, we went two and one, and then we trophied, and now we're in another finals, but I think we're gonna lose this one. We're down a game, and. This game's not looking great. <laughs> Maybe we're betting not going to five. I haven't looked over them for today, Lizzie Guzzler. You're correct, there are some interesting ones. Much better day today. Oh, yeah. 
We have more wins than like the last two days combined. <laughs> Good land to draw. Now we're only one white source away from Elspeth. Which actually looks like kind of good against Ragavan and stuff. We'll see. Have we been doing anything differently? We've been drawn better. Maybe a difference of sleep on my part. I don't know. Yeah, there's a shitload of Polyphia on my playlist, so gee. I'm a fan. If you like Polyphia, you might try out uh, Chon. It's like a C-H-O-N, I think. Maybe there's an R in there. No, that was right. <clears throat> kind of a similar deal, similar vibe. <laughs> yeah, can I I should check out Howling Giant. You're not wrong. I think we just let them eat the... I mean, they have to burn treasure to eat the Euro now. I think we just play at home. Oh, you know what I could have done? I could have metamorphed the Simic Signet this turn. Pretty happy finding the Seder Wayfinder. Somehow in this game, yeah. Howling Giant is actually not named after the MTG card, although they do play Magic. They play Magic in D&D and stuff. Howling Giant... The, the reason they're called Howling Giant is because the lead singer was uh, playing an old Zelda game. I can't remember which one it was, but apparently you come into a ring and there's like a bunch of giants standing in a circle yelling or something. Chat. Chat all knows ex what, which one exactly. You fucking nerds. So we get Temple Garden for Elspeth, or we could get Academy. Get Academy and then metamorph the Signet. This is mighty tempting. I'm not gonna get greedy though. This would be an ideal time for them to draw a green source so they don't have to bring the treasure with the death red activation because otherwise they get a row back and oh no they're using it for mana they're gonna do something better love it
Did not think this Earl was happening this game. Do we get Oko down? Get Oko down, pump through Lelium. Then we just pass. Next turn we can like Oko plus Elspeth or play Warm Coil or get all these awesome options. Today's going much better than yesterday, yeah. Not hard. <laughs> Not difficult to be fair, but yes, much better. Looks like we're gonna get to a game three of this finals. I think I like Oko up tick pass. Just keep the confluence up. Do I side in balance? Nah. Oh, you mean on the draw? Yeah, maybe. Maybe, actually. I thought you were asking if I did for this game. Obviously, balance still not great against, like, Grist and, uh, and Braska. But it's pretty good against, like, Lelia and Ragavan. Answering their creature planeswalkers. Minsk and Boob. Minsk and Boob would be terrifying. Red, green in the finals? Yeah, but I mean. We've seen a lot of reasons why they're in the finals. <laughs> Ragavan, Lelia, Grist. Like, their deck's good. We got kind of lucky that they stumbled on mana. So I was regretting not having Fact of Fiction. The craces ended up working out. And two aren't exactly a combo. Should I cut Pest Devastation? I think I do. Maybe that's my only change. I think Wolfrun's been in the cube before. I don't think it's great. Sam needs a mock sapphire like nobody's business, huh? Yeah, I didn't think Kessick was that good. I mean, you can get it with prime time, but just getting a creature land's pretty good. And then they cut most of the creature lands. I would rather have Ravine Bank than have Kessig. I'll put it that way. This balance is looking fucking terrible. 
already with the Mox Emerald play. Should I have Mulliganed? And playing the Mox Emerald could be a sign that they've got the Bone Crusher Giant in hand. Oh my god. Come on, Dak, be nice to me. It's my birthday. Island on top would help. Mock Sapphire on top would be best. And blue producing Signet would also be great. Happy birthday, Kinnick Sai. Hey, happy birthday to everybody. It is everybody's birthday on this fine day. Now we sit here and hope they don't play a Grist, basically. If we hit a land, we would have 100% metamorph that Mox. Yeah, I think they were sitting on the Bone Crusher for a couple of turns. Best balance ever. The balance mind twists me. Funny turn to get mind twisted. We don't even keep the balance. Yeah, I wanted to get the retrofitter down first. So I could keep one more card. Brutal timing. The good news is Treasure Cruise is good with a full graveyard. Academy would be a sick draw here. I didn't like just chumping because we can do like the block sack next turn. That plays out a little better. Hey. You're late. The draws are really bad. The draws have not been great. Yeah, very flooded. It would have been a good balance. Obviously, if I know I'm getting mind twisted literally that turn, <laughs> then the balance would have been the play, but... Still have like a 1 in 3 or 1 in 4 chance of keeping it. You make the same play knowing they have Twist? Playing the Retrofitter? Oh no, that's terrible. Balance is good because it puts them down to one land, right? We knew that they had twisted their deck. 
if that's what your comment was meant. But if you know that they're going to twist you, you should balance there. Get rid of the bone crash aim. All right, wayfinder. Time to earn your keep. Even not treasure cruise versus retrofitter activation. I think I'd rather activate retrofitter. And then next turn lead on cruise. It's because we already made our land drop this turn, right? And they're not it's not like they're gonna mind twist me. They already played that card. Me going again. God, they've been so flooded. Hey, sure, 86. Thanks to the sob. Thanks for sharing the prime there. Do we fire off a piddly crasis? I think we ponder. That's what I think. Well, I can make a 4 4. It's retrofitting. I can whether I ponder or not. Cast Typhoon time? I don't think so. I think it's like Crazy Zero, Tireless Tracker time. Yeah, Shark Typhoon is the only do-nothing in my hand of all do-somethings. <laughs> it is, to be clear, I think the only bad play available to me. <laughs> Jeez. They have just not missed a land drop the entire game. Oh, if we play Tracker, then we can't play Uro. Is Uro the play here? I think Uro is the play here. This short on green mana, right? We only have two green. I guess we play it. I guess that's fine. It's not. It's, it's like a land drop for tireless tracker is the only issue. And now turn nine. I shall make my first attack. They will mog me. God. I only have 14 cards in my library. And I'm like casting my first creature. Well, that's not true. We wayfinder. Aiden.
throw down. Oh no. I was like, yeah, we can take a hit. We knew this card was in their deck. It's a little iffy because we're only down to 14 cards. Is the scary thing here. I might have just like found the one way to lose this game. I was like thinking, do I want to trade? But then I was thinking that I could have two threats versus this Doretti. Well, that could have been a lot worse for me, huh? Elspeth Oroko. More of a big deal than this Karn. thinking here. Rumpoil's kind of hard for them to deal with, right? It's like not a crazy turn to Mystic Confluence bounce their things. You could play Tireless Tracker and shock yourself here, but I think I just want to activate Retrofitter. Cube did get a mini update. Yep, exactly. So the scariest card for me is that Grist, which is now under this Karn. We'll see. Grist, there's Grist under the Karn.
Ah, that's what it left me with confluence. I was wondering. I was like, that doesn't make any fucking sense. Getting into the deep red clockwise. No, they disconnected? No! I wanna, I wanna see how this game ends. It finally got interesting! It was so uninteresting for so long! No! They know it's over. I don't know. I don't know if they do. Like I only have nine cards in my library, you know. I don't know. Hey, Dragon Lord Lotus. Thanks to the sob. Thanks to the seven months. Yeah, they're back. That makes me think that it's an issue with their internet connection too. And then they click through the blockers. It's a bummer. Because I think they wanted to keep Karn alive and then cash in the Karn for um, for Grist. And start needling their way back in. Crack the clue. Let's still around with retrofitting. That's true. Yeah, the retrofitter would have been good, but this, this, or I'm sorry, the balance would have been good, but you're right, the retrofitter has done a shitload of work. The way it played out. I actually wonder if we end up winning the balance game, right? You balance them, and then they, like, mind twist your last two cards. Then one of them is the retrofitter. Do you end up winning there? I don't know. They ended up drawing, like, ten more lands in a row. I think we actually probably would have lost. Kind of wild to think about. That said, just because they ended up drawing a bunch of lands doesn't mean that um, that line's correct, right? I think the balance is correct, despite the fact that it would be a losing line. Thanks, Espinar. Thanks for the 16 months. What's more frustrating, screw or flood? Um, probably screw for me.
And then like Ember Cleave on the fall in the Shobi deck you. Just <laughs> GG's! Back to back trophies. We had to get exceedingly lucky. Extremely lucky to win that finals. But that's okay. Sometimes you need to get lucky, hum. Now the curse is definitively look lifted. Yeah, GG's. That game was wild. Retrofitter, hum. Sometimes you get unlucky. Nah, that never happens to me. This is a, this is a luck only stream. <laughs> <laughs> 